Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset Channel. Today, we'll talk about the importance of audits in clinical trials. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset Channel and all topics on clinical research. Clinical trials play a crucial role in advancing medical research and bringing new treatments to patients. However, ensuring the integrity and quality of these trials is of paramount importance. This is where audits come into play. Audits serve as a vital instrument of quality assurance in clinical trials, helping to uphold ethical standards, regulatory compliance, and data integrity. In this video, we will delve into the world of audits in clinical trials, exploring their purpose, types, triggers, and the process involved. Let's begin by understanding the definition and significance of audits in this context. Let us start with understanding audits in clinical trials. In the realm of clinical trials, audits are defined as systematic and independent examinations of trial-related activities and documents. The primary objective of audits is to determine whether the conducted activities and recorded data align with the study protocol standard operating procedures, good clinical practice, and regulatory requirements. Auditors work independently to review data and identify any deviations from standard operating procedures or legal requirements. By doing so, they contribute to the continuous improvement of the quality of the study or trial. Audits cover various aspects of a clinical trial, including data management, protocols, final study reports, and even the knowledge of investigators regarding GCP. These examinations ensure that the trial is conducted ethically, with accurate data collection and reporting. Auditors are not interested in criticism. Their focus lies in facilitating the improvement of study quality through a corrective and preventative actions process known as the CAPA process. But what are the different types of audits in clinical trials? In the world of clinical trials, there are two primary types of audits, on-site audits and system audits. On-site audits are the most common type and involve a direct examination of trial sites. The main reason for their prevalence is the recognition that the main source of errors in clinical studies often lies at the trial site. While many trial sites perform admirably, the absence of standardized procedures can pose challenges. The quality of a trial site can heavily rely on the capabilities and knowledge of a single individual, such as a principal investigator or study nurse. During on-site audits, various elements are scrutinized, including storage archives, trial master files, subject information, and study procedures. Auditors assess these aspects to ensure compliance, subject safety, and the validity of data and documentation. System audits, on the other hand, focus on specific processes within the trial, such as serious adverse event reporting and training procedures. These audits examine whether all relevant information corresponds to drug safety and whether the reporting process is efficient and timely. Let us now have a look at audit triggers and the process. Audits in clinical trials can be triggered by different factors. One common trigger is a request for an audit due to continuous protocol violations at a trial site, which can be observed by monitors. Monitors, who oversee the trial site, may request an audit when repeated hints and reminders fail to rectify the situation. Another trigger is a suspected case, which may arise when data appears to be unusually error-free or when enrollment numbers are too rapid or extensive. In such cases, audits, known as for-cause audits, are performed to investigate potential irregularities or fraudulent practices. The audit process involves several key steps. Firstly, auditors check the existence and accuracy of the informed consent forms for all enrolled subjects. This can be a time-consuming task, particularly in large trial sites with numerous participants. The investigator site file is also thoroughly examined to ensure proper maintenance and completion of essential documents. Auditors, similar to monitors, perform source data verification by assessing a sample of subjects to confirm the accuracy of data, 
storage of study medication, and handling of laboratory samples. They also verify the qualification certificates of study personnel to ensure adequate training and compliance. And what are the benefits of audits in clinical trials? The benefits of audits in clinical trials are manifold. Audits serve as a critical tool in upholding ethical standards and ensuring the safety and well-being of trial subjects. By reviewing trial-related activities and documentation, auditors can identify deviations from SOP and legal requirements, leading to corrective actions and improved study quality. Audits also contribute to the accuracy and validity of data, enhancing the reliability of trial results. Moreover, audits help maintain regulatory compliance, which is essential for the approval and acceptance of clinical trial data by regulatory authorities. Additionally, audits promote transparency and accountability within the clinical trial process. They provide an opportunity for investigators and trial sites to identify areas for improvement and implement measures to prevent errors and deviations in future trials. Audits also play a crucial role in building trust among stakeholders, including sponsors, regulatory bodies, ethics committees, and the general public. By showcasing a commitment to quality and rigorous oversight, audits contribute to the overall integrity and credibility of the clinical trial ecosystem. In summary, in the realm of clinical trials, audits serve as a pillar of quality assurance, ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements, ethical standards, and data integrity. On-site audits and system audits play complementary roles in examining trial sites, procedures, and specific processes such as SAE reporting and training. These audits are triggered by factors such as protocol violations or suspected irregularities, and the process involves thorough examinations of documentation, informed consent forms, and data verification. The benefits of audits are far-reaching, including improved study quality, subject safety, and regulatory compliance. By embracing audits, the clinical trial community can foster a culture of continuous improvement and uphold the highest standards of research integrity. You cannot get enough about clinical research. Do our free online training. Introduction to clinical research. Investigator responsibilities. You will find the link in the video description. Thank you for watching our video and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.